let's open up a starter motor and have a look now we remove uh, the mounting bolts two of the mounting bolts need to be removed okay and we have already removed uh, the solenoid mounting bolt so the solenoid is at the top so we remove the solenoid okay that's the solenoid been removed uh, that's the field uh, bracket cover been removed and uh, now we remove uh, the starter motor casing or the armature casing inside we have the field coil okay there you can see the field coils and the brushes over there okay that's the armature casing with the field coil being removed that's the armature over there so we remove the armature which has been engaged with the gear system okay now that's uh, the gear system which you can see which actually uh, transfers the power coming uh, from the armature towards the flywheel so let's uh, remove the gear system that's a uh, internal gear you can see there and uh, there are some external gears for number of small external gears also it's a uh, single unit now that black uh, unit which has been protruding out is the engaging lever uh, from the solenoid uh, which takes away uh, the gear from the flywheel or engages the gear with the flywheel okay that gear which uh, you can see i'm rotating right now is the gear which is being linked with the flywheel okay as it rotates you can see this gear system also rotates so that's how uh, the uh, rpm from the armature is being taken by the gear system and been transferred towards the flywheel so we installed the gear system back okay you can see how it's linked and how it rotates okay uh, now let's install back our armature so the end we have a gear which will be linked with the gear system so you can see as the armature rotates the gear uh, linked with the flywheel also is rotating okay now let's install back uh, the casing with the field coil and uh, the end bracket cover so that's how we assemble and dismantle a starter motor on the top we have the solenoid